This is gonna be straightforward, quick and easy. Eventide Saturate Clipper is a lean, mean loudness machine. I already like it. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixbus TV. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, as usual, if you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, check the info box down below for my mixing courses, a bunch of discounts on plugin and links to Saturate from Eventide, the plugin that we are seeing today. If you want to support the channel, we also have a Patreon page and some cool t-shirts down there. Let's get to the video. There's no such thing as having too many Saturators. Well, at least I can't have too many. But this one in particular, Saturate, which is part of the Eventide Mastering Suite from Newfangle Audio, I like it for a couple of specific reasons. One, it's super, super simple. You just have a drive, a clipper shape, and that's about it. It comes with three different colors, Newfangle, the white uh, GUI, the modern, and the twin turbo. That changes only the GUI, the colors. And this one, like I said in the intro, is a mean loudness machine. But we have an input and an output meters and an auto button for auto compensate the boost in level, a drive slider and a clipper shape. The clipper shape is simple. It goes from hard or no clipping shape at all to soft clipping. According to the material, either soft or hard will work better most likely somewhere in between. A clipper with a soft shape will start clipping the material below the threshold, so in this case the drive, but in a more gentle way. As where in the hard mode, completely 100% hard, the audio material will be untouched until it passes the threshold. Without further ado, this one has no modes, no anything, it's just a really, really high-end saturator with just two controls. So without further ado, let's hear it in action. To start, I will keep the auto compensation, so the automatic volume compensation on, so there will not be a volume increase. What I want you to focus is the aggressiveness of the material and then how hard we can push it volume-wise before it starts to sound bad. I will start with the hard clipping, auto compensation on. Okay, so I'm compensating, auto compensating for the volume, so there's no gain increase right now. You can hear that the difference in sound is not that much. There's a little bit of squashing on the snare because it's the loudest peak, but overall, the reason why this saturator is so good, it's because it's pretty linear. It doesn't get tubby, it doesn't get muddy, it doesn't rounds off the top end like many saturators do. It stays pretty clear and transparent while saturating. So now I'm gonna disengage the auto button and click bypass and bypass so you can hear the difference in level. So keep your hand on the volume because now there's gonna be a big boost. Let's see the difference between soft and hard when we compensate for the level. Okay, you can hear the shift um, is, a, is a slightly more round in the soft uh, shape mode than hard. So for Hard hitting material, rock, EDM, like that, I prefer to stay on the hard side. But again, in both modes, it's so very transparent. There's not a frequency shift, a frequency balance shift. Let's try another track.
Again, and I'm going really, really hard. Again, watch your volume because now I'm gonna remove the auto level function. You hear how transparent it is. And if we just do a quick test, maybe with the track we used before and see how loud we can get with that. I don't know if you guys are reading this meter, okay? So we are about minus three, minus four on the loudness meter. And this is not even like, it's a stop and go track. So the RMS is even lower than it could be on a different track. And I'm just doing stupid tests. Let me try this one on single track really quick. Cause like I said, this is not, this is not complicated. This is a high quality, high end clipper it's called Saturate, it's newfangled audio, but it's in the Eventide. It was popular because it was in the Eventide mastering suite. It's just a simple loud machine. I hate to say it, I know some people will, will frown at that, but the truth is we use this kind of plugins for so many reasons, not just for loudness. So let me try it really quick on a drum, just to see if we can get a distortion, if we can get a sound of it. Watch for the manual adjustment in level. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Even just a color machine, like a, actually a saturation distortion unit. It's such a high quality, you can tell. It's like Eventide knows how to do plugins and how to do high quality plugins. This is again, so simple. I don't have to like explain that much. I just wanted to show it to you guys. I don't see anybody talking about this. It's a really high quality clipper. A lot of people is interested in clippers. There are not that many out there. So like, why not? Let me try it really quick on a beat or something like that. Let's see what we have. And again, we are losing a little bit of punch. We're losing a little bit of click and the snare and the kick, but look at the, at the level. Like I am clipping a lot right now and I'm just compensating for the, um, for the output not to blow up your speakers, but this thing makes things like really loud. So this is without. So we are 3.6. I guess 9.5. So we gained like 6 dB. And like I said, the sound is pretty much there. Um, one thing to keep in mind, as you can see here from the meter, this is not a final limiter. It will not do the safe limit than when, when the output is a zero or even a minus one or 10. Make sure that you're not clipping, okay? So this is not a final limiter, so watch that. Uh, you need a final limiter after for mastering purposes. And if you really push it that hard, just make sure you're not clipping the output because you can see from the meter, it can go, it can overshoot, okay? This is a good test. It's a drum loop without hats and without cymbals. So we can really hear it in action.
is incredibly transparent and I would add that the kind of distortion that it adds when it starts to be audible clipping and distortion is actually really nice. And being so transparent, the great thing about this clipper is you don't have to guess. Some clippers are so program depending that it's hard sometimes to hear if there's some bad distortion at some point in the track, at some, in some areas of the frequency spectrum. This one being so linear, so transparent, so faithful to the source, is really just half a dB or even less of a step before everything sounds bad. So it's really easy, intuitive, there's no guessing, straightforward, Eventide Saturate Newfangled Audio Spectral Clipper. I don't know if they just made it available as a single plugin, but was in the mastering suite. I think you can also buy the mastering suite. Really cool loudness machine, but don't tell that I told you. Leave your comments down below. Check the info box for my mixing courses and all the discounts, including a sale on this one. Follow Mixbus TV on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.